Well, 10 years ago today, South Dakota made the record books due to a thunderstorm near Vivian. It produced the Vivian Hailstone, the largest hailstone ever documented. Jay was watching in the storm center and he was seeing it all develop. Uh, yes, Brady. The uh, storm occurred actually right about this time of day. My colleagues were chasing that storm because we thought it might tornado. It did not, but it sure was destructive. Severe storms are hitting central South Dakota, which our meteorologists are keeping a close eye on, both from the storm center and on the road. Kelloland Scott Munt was in our chase vehicle, which got this photo of the supercell near Vivian. It was extremely muggy that day, with temperatures in the high 90s on the ground and 96 degrees below zero at the top of the storm, according to a weather balloon. It produced numerous giant hailstones that broke windows on cars on Interstate 90. In Les Scott's yard in Vivian, massive hail made incredible sounds as it punched holes in his roof. Guy throwing bricks at the house, and uh, there's many of them, and it was scary. Other hailstones made holes as big as coffee cans in the ground. Scott collected one of the bigger stones. He told me by phone that night that he had intended to use it to make a daiquiri until the Aberdeen National Weather Service talked him out of it. The Weather Service arrived the next day and carefully measured the size and weight of the stone, which was later certified by the National Climate Extremes Committee as the record holder at 8 inches in diameter. A scientist at the National Center for Atmospheric Research in Boulder made a few plaster casts of the Vivian Hailstone, and this is actually one of those rare casts. It's about the size of a junior football, and uh, the original hailstone was close to 19 inches around in circumference. That's a long way. It weighed just under two pounds. That is crazy. I had no idea we had that here in South Dakota. Yeah, well, world famous for the big hail.